So we've got a, three packages today, and I'm kind of glad they just all uh, are here because it was tricky to get them all together. Basically, one was delivered here to my place uh, by a USPS. One was delivered to my place by UPS. There were two different times for both of those, of course. And then one was delivered to work by UPS. That one I was willing to ignore up until, um... And this one is a Right Stuff package, so... Just need to find... where I can get under the packaging and just it open. This one was the one that was going to work, so I knew I needed to go out and get that. Unfortunately, um, I was going to be out about anyway, so I was going to stop in after everybody was gone, which is not to say I was trying to avoid the people at work, but rather that um, it meant there was no traffic. So, um, let's decide in order. Let's turn this upside down and begin with the Little Busters Collection 2. Season 1, Collection 2. DVD and Blu-ray versions. Uh, naturally, this has an English dub. This regions A and B. It's been a bit of a delay since uh, the last one was released. I'm wondering how well I will remember this. Probably be a priority watch to finish. And so we have the DVD version, which of course has three discs in it, and then the Blu ray version, which has discs one and two, it looks like. So we've got oh, the disc art for discs one and two of the uh, DVD version. Next up, we've got Hitamari Sketch 365, which is season two. This one is region A only because it is subtitled only. There is no doubt for this. It's just Sentai releasing the series on DVD as well. Sorry, on Blu-ray as well. Whew. I think we've got a nice straightforward inside. Next up, we've got Udeka 7 on Blu-ray. It's uh, just Blu-ray. Yeah, it looks like this is just Blu-ray. Because, of course, I've got the older... Um, Bandai individual volumes release, so I don't need a DVD version, which I think was also released at the same time. So here we go, Uraka 7 on. Okay. This one comes with a slip cover, but that slip cover is probably going to be put into permanent storage as I figure all this out. So Inside this box, this box has enough room for both discs. We've got an insert here, and I'm going to take this slipcover, put it aside, and we can see here part one, episodes one through 26, is also in its own plastic packaging. Open sesame. So we just got four discs, two, three, four, and the Nirvash in the uh, back. And then part two, which with episodes twenty-seven through fifty. Yeah, 
This one only has three discs. Two, three. And another Nirvash picture on the inside. I guess for that I'm going to take this... Uh, See if I can insert it in there, just because I do that for some reason. And then uh, here's a leave the case. And then finally, last but not least, is a uh, Nickel Monogatari Black, which uh, I do believe is a standalone movie. But I guess uh, that's the idea of opening this up to find out, because. Uh, I don't entirely remember. I know that there were two of these coming out. There's Nekomoni, Nekomonogatari Black and Nekomonogatari White. White is the beginning of Monogatari's second season, I believe. And this has a wide variety of stuff in it. So let's look without this first so we can get the complete picture. This, of course, has a... Uh, Two di it's a two disc set, limited edition Blu ray set includes four complete Nekomonogatari Black episodes. English, there's a digest video, there's a second season trailer, Techless Opening Ending, Deluxe book Booklet, sorry, Pinup Postcard Set, Package Illustrated by. Okay. So. I've never seen this sort of cover on... Well, it's possible I might have, but I just don't remember. But it still seems a bit strange, doesn't it? Not bad, but strange. The inside we got here, same artwork, and the two discs. Very simple background behind them, which actually just adds for a nice contrast for the discs. I would guess is what they were going for. We've got the deluxe booklet here. With information I don't want to read too closely because I don't want to be spoiled. And then we've got postcards. Okay, I was feeling this right. Take a look at these postcards. It looks like it was just those four. Nekomonogatari Black. And that's this week's anime DVD collection update. Maybe not super big, but I actually think this is a pretty good selection because I think I'm likely to watch both of these and then everything else I would like to rewatch. <sighs> but whether or not I will is yet to be decided simply because of time. Not that there's uh, not enough time for watching anime. I have been taking this week off. Instead, the issue has been one of focus. Instead, I've been uh, playing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and just being a zombie and basically going online, helping people who are really new to the game out. It's a very... You don't have to think too hard about it. And a lot of the stretches of the game are non-existent. So, on that note, I guess I've only watched uh, the second half of Naruto Shippuden. I think I tried to watch um, more Ebiten, but 
got distracted. So, what I did watch of Naruto Shippuden, what can I say? It was um, the second half of set 18, I guess it is. Whatever the latest set is. And while it is kind of reminiscent of One Piece right now, there's some things about it that are just annoying. Kind of stupid little things where it's like, wait, they didn't, re they really didn't have a contingency plan for this. The Ninja World can magically mess things up, and we the viewers can think of how it could magically fix things again within ten seconds, but it takes them like a week in the anime. There are a bunch of little things like that. So basically, it's been all filler as far as I can tell, and eventually we will hopefully. get through this because they can only do this kind of filler for so long, I guess. Oh well, it's not horrible. <sighs> I guess it's just disappointing. Especially since uh, some interesting things happened in the uh, Marvel um, Avengers universe. And of course I say that, but those things, I don't know, I think they're kind of sound so. -and -so. twist for the sake of twists, I guess, but kind of. But that aside, I still thought they were okay and neat twists, so it's not bad. So, if you are watching Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and you're wondering whether or not to continue because you have not seen Captain America 2, you should probably see Captain America 2. But, uh... That's it. I guess I've just been watching, uh, yeah, a couple of non-anime stuff just because I could. I watched Life of Brian. Amusing. I guess I wasn't sure what to think about it, and starting up, like, oh, duh, Monty Python. So, it's very Monty Python-esque. It's quite humorous, and I've also rewatched Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And Tron, and Tron Legacy. So, I guess uh, those all four have been watched. Huh. And then, like I said, other than that, I've been zombing out playing Monster Hunter, and maybe I need to do some cleaning <sighs> and some sleeping. I've exhausted myself today, but uh, here you go. The anime DVD update. I can't really think of anything else in particular to mention, so y'all have a nice week.